Welcome to Genuine Core guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the JFX list view and the JFX pop-up. And the JFX list view provides a number of cool features such as the expanded list view uh, that we have seen in Android platform and that can be done very easily using the set expanded method which we will see in this tutorial and let's look into the code i have removed most of the code in order to start from the beginning and in the fxml document i have two buttons one for expansion and uh, one for expanding it and there is a button jfx button add new node is used to add new node and this is the list view i have taken the list view from the library jfx list view and placed it here and there is a jfx pop-up the jfx pop-up should not have to have any space or any condense inside that we will inflate the jfx pop-up in the code section and so that's pretty much of it um, and i have given some variable names this is button and this is list view this is button one which is the add new node and this is the pop-up and also i have added an action or the load method is called when the toggle expansion is clicked and add new is the method that is used to add new nodes into the program so i hope you understood the layout of this program and now let's do the coding so i have written a for loop a for loop with four items and it creates a label a normal java fx label using label lb is equal to new label and i have set the icon this smiling this uh, smiling icon emoticon using this lbl dot set graphic method and i have passed an image view containing a image this is very we are familiar with this right we have already done it in our normal javafx program so that's it lbl dot set graphics then i have added this label to the list view by using list view dot get times dot add lbl so that's it and what we have to do is now when the user click on the struggle expansion we have to expand the list view in order to get this desired effect and that can be done by using list view dot set expanded true more than just expanding there is a three dimensional uh, look and feel for this list view that is given using list view dot depth property dot set to one so you will get a third dimensional th a third dimensional feel to this list view and we just don't want to expand it when i click on the expansion button again i want to remove the expansion so that can be done using by an if case that checks whether it is already expanded if it is not expanded if the list view is not expanded we can go for an expansion otherwise all that i want to do is i want to remove the this depth property and set the expansion as zero now let us run the program now as you can see this is not what have we have seen uh, during the starting of this video this is not what we want and this is the basic look and feel of a jfx list view and i have modified the look and feel of the list view using css so let's get into the css section and this is the css that i have used for getting the previous look and feel so let us just remove the comments and let me explain the use of each component so the first component the list cell selected is you so to set the color of the cell when it is selected let's run the program 
and when I click on this one this is the selected color which is set using this CSS then uh, this is used for setting the insets li for list cell that is not actually visible in this case and JFX list cell and rippler we have given a ripple effect for this one and the ripple color is given using FX rippler fill and when I hover my mouse over this list cell you can see this color and one more thing that we are missing is the main list view styling and if you run the code we got the real material look for our list view and the background insights are set to zero in order to remove the border of this list view and the vertical gap 10 is the one that's actually used for this expansion so when I set uh, I have coded the toggle expansion to set expanded to true and when that occurs the distance between two consecutive list view cells are controlled using this FX vert vertical graph vertical gap and that's much that's pretty much of the CSS styling so we got this one and next thing we will have to learn about is the JFX pop-up view and we have a pop-up uh, which is defined inside this FXML file and we got the pop-up and in order to create pop-up I'm gonna write a function called init pop-up and I'm going to create that function in it pop up and for the previous sample I have created a function in it pop up I'm gonna reuse that right here so so basically in order to generate this pop up BL I have imported wrong insets. I don't want java.awt.insets. Instead, I want javafx.geometry. So that's fine. And we got the init pop-up. And in this method, I have created three different material buttons. And I have given padding for this button in order to get a fresh look. And I have added these three buttons into a vertical box in order to see them as a list and the next thing I have to do is I have set the content I mean if I click on the list view right now you can it is not given yet in order to get the list view showing on the screen I want to give that a uh, code in the when I click on this one so let's do that so I have a JFX list view and when I click on the JFX list view I want to get my pop-up window. So on mouse click show pop-up. So that will do the trick and I'm going to generate the controller and we got show pop-up. And in order to show pop-up window you can call the pop-up dot show and this one implies that the top right so the pop-up window will, will start from the top and right corner I don't want this on the right corner I want it on the left corner and the next thing I want to do is if I run the program now you can see that it is always showing no matter where I click it is always showing at the top left corner of my list view that's not what I want I want to see the list view from where I click so you can set the list uh, pop-up view to show where your mouse clicked using even dot get text by passing the x and y axis of the mouse click event so get y so now the pop-up window will generate at the x and y axis given let's run the code see we got it 
and the next problem is even if I click any mouse button no matter whether it is the central button or left or right I'm getting this list view you can you can actually determine on which button you want to give the listener to generate this pop-up window so that's it that's how you use a pop-up window and I haven't explained this yet the pop-up dot set content is used to set the content that is displayed in the pop-up window and in this case it is a V box and I have set the source the source is nothing but the node on which we click will generate the pop-up window so this is the source of pop-up window I don't want that twice so that's pretty much it we got it and if you want to restrict the pop-up window to uh, left click of your left click left mouse click you can do that by get button is equal to mouse button middle primary secondary so usually this is the right one so mouse button dot secondary pop-up dot show and let's run the code again now I am gonna click using my left button nothing is showing and if I click using the right button I will get the pop-up window so that's it that's how you use power window and the last thing I want to show you is how to add a new element into the list view and when I click when I click on this add new node I want to add a new item and that can be done at the add new method because I have associated the event handler to add new add new node and this is it so that can be done using list view dot get items get items dot add method and I'm gonna add new label so new label genuine coder and now let's run the code <coughs> so that's it we got a new node we got the toggle expansion and the 3d effect so that's it that's how you use a list view jfx list view and jfx pop-up guys i hope you understood the working and as always like the video if you like it subscribe for more cool videos